Hello, let's go to review a new Flame Painter 3.3.1. So, new edition was released, and we'll just look what small edition options was added to this new versions. As well, we'll just overview what is about this application, to why you should use it or like it or not. First off, if you familiar with the uh, flame painter this is application that allowed you to create a literally stunning backgrounds and not just a background um, you can also paint over the best way to look on this what application can do it is with this new top that was just added you go in community and you just click on the gallery and as you go in the gallery you can see right here the this is showing images work the people done by using this applications which is actually some of this uh, breathtaking images done and the best things about this application it's not just work on your pc mac it's work on our devices and with new high dpi devices now the additional resolution of them supported with new um 3.3.1 release so you even have a much better effect and if you're using like ipad with pencils what i do you can paint and it's excellent tool to do this so okay this is edition was added uh, with coming to where you can access your forum gallery account you also can publish your work directly from here which is nice but you notice right there let's for those who are not familiar with these applications let's look what this can do and you notice as i'm moving around just open application standalone and it's kind of weird of course are going around the reason it's showing me how the brush will follow so if i start painting you can see as it going around it start creating this awesome effects and you have it overall multiple options you can modify them so you can create a flame effect you can have smoke strikes you can have all these options right on the top right there in your tools you can switch between what you want it if you want a brush if you want to use it as a pen if you want to use the eraser you know if it's some extent done or fill with the gradients another one so you select your tools on top let's go back to the brush and I'm going to go exactly through all of these settings. If you're interested in this, I will refer you to my other ones tutorials about Flame Painter, where we're going step by step through all of this property, see how they work. But overall, in this area, you can specify specify what size you want it, specify how they react, how they will create, how they work. If you want to just paint you can always just go on your right side and select right here different colors and also different brushes you also can download a different brush and see all what i needed i just select one brush and i can go around and paint as i wanted you can go select and different colors so you can do all this with different type of the brushes different layers um for example noise will be more the strike so you can see it's very creative nice tool and below of course you have a multiple layer so you can create a different layer type different ways how they will be interact between each other how they will blend mode will work and also you can import your image and paint over of this image so example right here let's create new layer and you can see i can go create very interesting stunning effect you know what interesting i find out beside that you can purchase this application and use for to create your artwork but also I notice many times on many stock libraries who sell, they're actually using in this application, they're creating overlays, save them and sell there as well. So instead of paying money for those stocks, you can create it by yourself and also make money this way with using these applications. Overall, this is very creative app. You will have a lot of fun time by creating your own original art or modifying and in my case, when I do with, uh, example, uh, compositing images, very often I will use it to create a flames, smokes, maybe ghost effects, other ones which I integrated inside my um, work. And you can check some of these examples, again, by going to Community Gallery. Or if you want to check my website, it's a uh, Chopin Photography, where you can go over and you can see a lot of effects which done with the... Uh, uh, back effects done in a flame uh, painter and after import and layered inside the Photoshop. So you're welcome to have examples and hopefully that will inspire your creativity.